0 to the power 0 is not equal to 1, because if we let 1 equal 0 to the power 0, then 0 equals 1 minus 1. 0 to the power 1 minus 1 equals 0 to the power 1 times 0 to the power minus 1. There are three different ways we can go from here. In the first way, we let 0 to the power 1 equal 0. Assume that 0 to the power minus 1 is some kind of number. Then 0 times any number equals 0. And we get the contradiction 1 equals 0. But look at the right hand side. We've correctly calculated 0 to the power 0 equals 0. This agrees with the Soupy's Ono axiom, which extends every field to allow division by 0. But it's incoherent with calculus and physics. Let's start again from here. 0 to the power 1 equals 0, but 0 to the power minus 1 is undefined. I've written undefined as bottom. Now 0 times undefined equals undefined, and we've got the contradiction 1 equals undefined. If this isn't a contradiction, we've just said that 1 is undefined, and now any number times 1 is equal to that number, and every number is undefined. This is really bad. But look at the right-hand side. We've correctly calculated 0 to the power 0 equals bottom. You're free to do that if you want an arithmetic that can result in errors. Here's the third way. Let's take 0 to the power 1 as 0 over 1, and 0 to the power minus 1 as 1 over 0. Now 0 over 1 times 1 over 0 equals 0 times 1 over 1 times 0. 0 times 1 equals 0, 1 times 0 equals 0, and 0 over 0 equals nullity. We've got the contradiction 1 equals nullity. But look at the right-hand side. We've correctly calculated that 0 to the power 0 equals nullity, and this result is consistent with real arithmetic calculus and physics. It's the one I like. But the contradiction tells us why, 